हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कैटेगराइजिंग सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट्स मीन्स वाई वी वॉन्ट टू कैटेगराइज द प्रोजेक्ट एंड इन विच कैटेगरी बाय विच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वी आर कैटेगराइजिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड projects may differ because of different technical products to be created means by its characteristic it can be differ so we need to identify the characteristic of a project which could affect the way in which project should be planned and managed okay so by the different categories of the projects we will have different planning also we will have differently managed that project so let's discuss uh its categories so categories can be a uh, compulsory versus voluntary systems another category is information versus embedded system next category is is objective based versus product based system it can be also a uh, outsourced project okay so these are the categories in which we are categorizing the software projects first is compulsory versus voluntary system compulsory system are the system which the staff of an organization have to use if they want to do a task and if we talk about voluntary system that voluntary system are the system which are voluntarily used by the user for example computer gaming schooling project etc okay so in workplace there are system that staff have to use if they want to do something such as recording a cell however use of a system is increasingly voluntary as in case of computer games here it is difficult to elicit precise requirement from potential user as we could with a business system what the game will do will thus depend much on informed ingenuity of the developers along with techniques such as market surveys focus groups and prototype evaluation okay so by this thing we can divide our project means it is compulsory or it is voluntary our second thing is information versus embedded system so information system are used by staff to carry out office processes and task for example stock control system if we talk about embedded system then embedded system are used to control machines for example a system controlling equipment in a building a traditional distinction has been between information system which enables staff to carry out office processes and embedded system which controls machines a stock control system would be an information system and embedded or we can say a process control system might control the air conditioning equipment in building some systems may have elements of both where the stock control system also controls an automated warehouse embedded systems are also called real time or industrial systems next is outsourced projects first of all we will talk about what is meaning of outsourcing so outsourcing is a business practice in which a company hires a third party to perform task handle operations or provide services companies can outsource entire divisions also such as its entire it department or just part of a particular department now we talk about outsourced projects so by outsourcing them means by outsourcing projects you are going to be paying a fixed amount of project manager to complete the project and at the same time keep your current staff available for individual task or we can say internal task by the outsourcing the project management of a project you could end up hiring a real talent means you are giving a particular task to complete to the third party that means outsourcing 
while developing a large project sometimes it's make good commercial sense for a company to outsource some parts of its work to other companies there can be several reasons behind such decisions for example a company may consider outsourcing as a good option if it feels then it does not have sufficient expertise to develop some specific part of the project or if it determines that some part can be developed cost effectively by another company since an outsourced project is a small part of some project it is usually small in size and need to be completed within a few months considering this difference between an outsourced project and conventional project managing an outsourced project entails special challenges indian software companies excel in exciting outsourced software projects and have earned a fine reputation in this field all over the world of late the indian companies have slowly begins to focus on product development as well the type of development work being handled by a company can have an impact on its portability for example a company that has developed a generic software project usually gets an uninterrupted system or revenue over the several years however outsourced project fetch only one time revenue to any company okay so this can be a outsourced project next thing is objective based versus product based system project whose requirement is to meet certain objective which could be met in a number of ways is object based project and if we talk about project then project whose requirement is to create a product the details of which have been specified by the client is product based project okay so projects may be distinguished by whether their aim is to produce a product or meet certain objectives a project might be to create a product the details of which have been specified by the client the client has the responsibility for justifying the product on the other hand the project requirement might be to meet certain objectives which could be met in number of ways an organization might have a problem and ask a specific recommendation solution many software project have two stages first is in object driven projects resulting in recommendation this might identify the need of a new software system the next stage is project actually to create the software product this is useful where the technical work is being done by external group and user need are unclear at the outset the external group can produce a preliminary design at a fixed fee if the design is acceptable the developers can then quote a price for a second implementation stage based on a agreed requirement if they come on to an agreement then and then that company will generate its outcome project okay so this is the part of objective based versus product based system okay so these are the categories by which we can categorize our a project okay so this is it for today's video lecture if you like this video then like comment and subscribe also share it with your friends thank you friends